All right, everybody, it is Eric. Let me take my helmet off uh, because our Master Chief in the Halo show takes his helmet off. And I think I was wrong about my initial sort of assessment of the show. Last week, uh, I didn't like a lot of the supporting people. Still not a fan of half of them. But I was really upset that Master Chief took his helmet off at the end of the show, that he appeared soft, that I, I didn't know the actor. I thought, who's this guy? He's vanilla. He's, he's got no emotion. He's bland. Keep your helmet on and be a badass, Master Chief. That was basically my big gripe with the episode. And after watching this episode, I think I was wrong. So the short version of what I'm going to say here is, uh, again, Master Chief takes his helmet off, keeps it off for a majority of this episode. This episode has no action in it, by the way, and I really liked it. And this actor, Pablo Schreiber, gave a hell of a performance. And there are two scenes where he really has to go for it that I'm going to get into here. And with his helmet off, gave a really good performance. So now I do see what they're doing with this show. It is focused on Master Chief. It is not focused on Quan, at least so far. At least that's what I'm getting. And, and I really like it. And I was wrong. All right, so episode two is called Unbound. Let me know in the comments what you think that's referring to. Uh, and we start off with a flashback. We have young MC, young Master Chief, and he's busting a move. It's like 20 years ago, and he leaves his camp at night, and you're wondering what he's doing, and he stops one of the fellow, like, Spartan-to-be people who want to leave the Spartan project, and he's sneaking off, and, and our MC, Master Chief, he's all like, oh, you know, you can't leave, that breaks the rules. And then this other guy, Soren, um, he's saying, listen, man, look, they, they messed up my arm here, and Halsey's doing these experiments on us. They messed up my arm, man, but they're messing with you inside, and that's worse, and you got to come with me and get out of here. Long story short, Master Chief lets Soren leave. And then we flash forward to present day, and we're on the Condor with Master Chief, or John, because he has his helmet off. We'll call him John. And uh, John and Quan, they're on the Condor, and they're fleeing uh, the United Nations forces, and they're going to a asteroid world. Like, there's a big asteroid with, like, a city or a bunch of cities. And it's going to be connected to other asteroids. Very cool. It reminded, it reminded me of the Belters on the great show, The Expanse. Okay, we learn why Master Chief is going to this like asteroid series of worlds, uh, because Soren is in charge there, pretty much. So he has a diverse family that we get to meet, and uh, Master Chief has the artifact. He's looking for shelter and answers about the artifact, and we take this cool cable car ride. Uh, in between the asteroids. Everything looked fantastic. I really liked it. Then we go to High Charity, the uh, Covenant Command headquarters or, you know, capital. And we are with this character, Maki. Is it Maki? Maki? The, the, the girl who is living amongst all these Covenant aliens that has my interest. Uh, and sh they know about the Keystone. That's the artifact. Uh, they, I guess they know that it's out there and Master Chief has that. And so she is saying, send me. Uh, don't send any of you guys. Uh, I can blend in better because she's like human or appears to be human. And uh, I really like that. I, I, I'm very interested about her. Who is she? What she's up to? Her relation to the Covenant and perhaps even, you know, Master Chief it's alluded to. So very good stuff. All right, next up, we get to go back to the Reach and see all our UN leadership. And Halsey has the opportunity to sell the Cortana project. She gets it approved. So, yeah, Cortana, we're going to see her in this episode. That's pretty cool. And then we get to join the Rebels. So, as you remember, Quan's father, the Rebel leader, he died. And so there's this new leader called Venture. And this is how we meet this guy. This guy, this actor was in The Expanse. He's in a bunch of things. He's like an intense and creepy looking dude, this actor. But uh, so the scene starts with him just like brutally shooting half a dozen people in the face. You know, they got executions. Pretty graphic stuff. All right. So John is hanging out with Soren's family. Uh, he's watching Soren's family and he's starting to doubt uh, what he's been doing with his life. You know, he sees the family, the love, the, the child. And he's thinking, you can see John's processing all this thinking, uh, maybe Spartan life isn't, isn't where it's at. In fact, Soren's son runs up and stamps John's hand, leaves like a little ink stamp, you know, like, ch -ch -ch, 
and it's a smiley face. And, and, and John's like, oh, what's that? And they explain to him, oh, oh, that, that makes you, uh, everyone will know, like, you know, you're cool, you're, you're with us. And John's like, oh, thank you. So he's starting to warm up to the idea that there's more out there besides being a Spartan. Uh, and then Sauron will take John and the artifact to like this insane asylum, basically their cages, people, crazy people in cages, to this person, Reth, because Reth spent time captured uh, by the Covenant and, and escaped and survived. So uh, once seeing the artifact, Reth, you know, spouts more crazy talk, but gets John to touch it. We have a shockwave. John has his flashbacks. And then Reth is like, you know, you're the chosen one or... You know, you're, 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 you're special, and uh, actually, it, it kind of makes it out like it might not be a good thing. Like, you're the harbinger of doom, that kind of thing. And this is where I think uh, Pablo Schreiber, with his helmet off, really shined. It's a very dramatic scene. He actually grabs breath and throws him against the wall and oh, give, give me the answers. And you can see that there's a lot of emotion, a real opportunity to let loose and do some really good acting. It was intense. I, I really liked it, and I, I kind of, okay, I see. Okay, there's a struggle here with Master Chief or John. He's struggling with, with his life as a Spartan and his loyalty to the, to the UN. Or, you know, he's got Soren and, and family and love and friends. And so I really thought he did a fantastic job here. I understand now why the helmet is off. And surprisingly, Master Chief... Uh, he's conflicted, but he makes a decision since this artifact sort of is a weapon. He takes it. He gets on the condor. He tells Quan, you got to stay here with Sauron. Bye-bye. I'm leaving you. And Master Chief goes and surrenders. Takes off his armor, surrenders. It's a big dramatic scene with lots of cuts and dramatic music. But basically, then he's imprisoned. And Halsey comes in and Master Chief confesses his feelings and his struggle uh, with his emotions to Halsey. And again, another opportunity for Pablo Schreiber to shine. I thought it was really, really good. Then we have a scene where Maki starts undressing and taking her clothes off, and we see her butt. Okay, that was unexpected. And the show ends with Halsey walking in the chamber with Cortana, activating Cortana, and I think she woke up, right? So now we have Cortana. Not in a hologram form. We actually have like a real... Uh, Cortana, a real person. So, that's good. So, yeah, I, I really love this episode. There is no action in this episode. No shooting, right? Oh, well, there was an execution. Yeah, that's kind of grisly. That was kind of rough. Uh, but there's really no action, and I really enjoyed it. I, with Master Chief with his helmet off, I enjoyed what this actor, Pablo Schreiber, was doing. He was really shining. I had concerns that... This guy's kind of vanilla. Is he going to have the chops to really uh, lead this show? Can he be the, you know, a, a, an action hero? I think he can. So I totally misjudged him. So I apologize to Mr. Schreiber. Good job, sir. I also think this episode focused on my favorite characters. So Soren is really good. Halsey, I still love Halsey. Of course, we have John and uh, Maki, Maki. I don't know how to pronounce her name, uh, with the Covenant. I really like her character. So it focused on those characters. Who this, who this episode did not focus on was Keys, both Keys. I don't, I'm not really a fan of any Keys. Uh, President Lady, she kept her mouth shut pretty much for the most part. Uh, Quan, Quan had very little screen time. Good, because I'm really not in love with Quan. So there you go. I mean... I really enjoyed episode two. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I think this show, this show could be good. I'm looking forward to it. It could be my favorite out of the three. I might like this more than Picard, and I definitely like it more than Moon Knight. Ooh, that was a stinker yesterday. All right, everybody, let me know in the comments what you think. I apologize to Mr. Schreiber. He did good. He did real good. All right, everybody, let me know in the comments what you think. Smash that like button. Come join me so we can talk about all this stuff every week. I will see you soon. And as always, I will see you on the new.